Hello? Oh, Daddy, I have the most wonderful, incredible state-of-the-art news for you. Guess where I am in this precise, exact state-of-the-art moment? In Sydney, Australia. Isn't it wonderful? You'll love a duck. Weren't you in Turkey? Don't worry about the details. The important thing is that we're in Australia. get to A as well. We'll find it. Over there. Excuse me, friend. Is there any water around here? Oh, maybe you don't understand me. We need water. Need water. Over that way. There is water. Thank you. No. But he said that... Water is closer, isn't it? Much closer. Isn't that true, my friend? You mean to say he was making fun of us? <laughs> I'll show him. <laughs> you shouldn't joke about the water in the <laughs> desert. He wasn't having us on, Ben. He was testing us. If you have enough for yourself, can you give us a bit of your water? <clears throat> Don't drink it, it might be poison. No, it's all right. Huh? <sighs> Delicious. <gasps> Are we heading the right way for Ayer's Rock? <clears throat> I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. You must never, ever, ever trust a stranger who might poison you. Right. I'm sure of it. That guy, that water guy, he's following us. How can he keep up with... That creep is just waiting for the poison to take effect so we can rob our corpses. Ah! You ah. see what I see? Huh? I believe you were mentioning creeps just now. What a very interesting coincidence. I was hoping to test you against Cobber, my boxing champion. <laughs> <gasps> I told you so. It was a trap. That water cheetah led us straight to Snatch. Please do something quick. That kangaroo is basically a computer. So if I can get into its gizzard, I can accomplish a great deal of mayhem. I wonder what password Snarchkoff would use. Oh, what no. do you think? No, that's obvious, and Snarchkoff is devious. Well, sometimes the simplest solutions. Ah! One we got him right first time out. Yes. <laughs> now it's your turn, Mr. Snarchkoff. Begin by striking yourself. What gives here? Help! Get me out of here! Now, we set Shadow free. You stupid tin can! And now for the final touch. Someone please stop in this horrible machine! Well, Mr. Ali, I believe the honor should be yours. What do I do, hon? Press this key. Yeah. Farhat, are you all right? Oh. Farhat, my boy. It was some of the worst fighting I've seen in a hundred years. Double training sessions and workouts from now on. But the important thing is that you're safe. Here, drink this. The shower awaits. Do it. How do you feel? 
Like a parachutist whose chute didn't open. Even with Ali's potion. Well then, take a good look ahead of you and I dare say you'll feel better. That's Ayers Rock, Farhat. We uh -huh. made it! The world's largest monolith. The Australian Aboriginals call it Uluru. They say it's been there since the beginning of time and it was carved by their ancestors in the time of dreams. And just what is this dream time? Did you hear that? Shh. It's the same rumble we heard before. It's coming back. Over there. I don't hear a thing. Farhat is right. I hear oh, something come as well. On. What's going on here? An earthquake? Uh, no, it's something different. Something never before uh, seen. Uh, we seem to be in the midst of waves of sand and rock. It's incredible. Howling sandstorms. This ain't kosher. Everyone down! <laughs> Ali's right. This isn't natural, it's demoniacal magic. Look, over there! <laughs> Oh, no one and nothing will escape the devastation that is about to ensue. I have to stop him. Go ahead, Farhawks. No. Sling your pitiful little pebbles. An ocean of sand will swallow them up forever. We gotta fight this another way. What? Uh, protection gig! At least force field won't hold out very long. Shadow! Dig us a shelter, yeah, hurry! Boss. My protection gig was so protectious, I couldn't get it off my skin. I'll have to work on that. At any rate, it was a help. I'll never make it this way. It's time for a little ingenuity. It's no good. I gotta come up with something else. Only what? Finally, this water will be good for something. I will start out with you, your ex highness. <laughs> this for all the times you are humiliating. Stay your hand, huh? Snarchkov. There's been a change in plans. Fart is still among the living. This is of an impossibility. A mountain is falling on him. The cursed scorpion wrapped them in a protective spell that saved them all. And as long as Farhat is still alive, I huh? need his parents as hostage. I can't stand it! But don't get your hopes up, you two. I still have a few surprises left. I think a house fell on me. Voice, it was a mountain. How did we ever manage to survive it? You'll never know. It was all you're doing, Ali. I should have listened to you from the start. Now maybe you've learned a lesson. At any rate, it's time for a little action. Uh, the Sherman, remember? The third crystal will appear at sunset. You've got to hurry, Farhat. She got that Go. right. Get a move on. It's too far. No, howling sandstorms. It looks like I gotta put in overtime today. Here's the velocity gig. Move it! Where are you? Where are you? Effects of the velocity oh. gig are wearing off. <coughs> Shariman, appear to me! Show yourself! Oh, oh no! Oh no! He didn't make it. He got there just seconds too late. Nice. 
<laughs> Please, Tilda, leave me alone. Your weeping is like a song of love, young man. I need to be alone if you don't mind. You have come to the land of my ancestors to find the great light, have you not? You speak English? My name is Tabajay, and you are Farhat. Uh, you know me? You have come to this land to find the great light? Yes, if that's what your people call the Shariman, but I, I have failed utterly. And so I have to report that I failed my mission and was unable to recover the third crystal fragment of the Shariman. Now Eagle Khan will become the master of the world and Snarchkarf will kill my father and my mother. All I have left is Zenim's old parchment map and two pieces of glass, all worthless. I should have rung up my father, but I don't have the courage to tell him that we failed. And I'm saying don't give up so easily. When you're following a dream, anything can happen. No, Tabajay, there's nothing else we can do. You're forgetting one important fact, that you're in Australia. What's the difference where we are? One of the dream paths leads directly to the Shariman. Follow it and you'll reach your goal. No, Tabajay. The truth is that I had my chance and I failed it. It is true that in what you think of as reality, you failed your chance. But there is also the reality of the dream path. And there your chance still remains to be taken for good or for ill. You mean that I still might be able to gather the stone I yes, missed? Yes, but it will not be enough just to dream. You will have to create, Farhat. I don't understand what you mean. Let me tell you all. A story. In the beginning, the world was a dark, flat, featureless plain, without stars, moon, or sun. The spirits of those ancient times lived closed up within holes. They grew tired of their loneliness. On the morning of the first day, one of those spirits was overcome with the urge to be born, and he cried out, I am the sun. He traversed the globe and lit the world with a beautiful golden light. The other spirits awoke and began creating. I am the serpent, cried one. I am the kangaroo, cried another. I am the ant. I am the river. I am the eagle. I am the cloud. I am the mountain. The voices came from far and wide. Thus the world was created from a dream that became reality. Now it's your turn to dream. Something is happening! Something beyond my control! But what? I can't feel it! Your dream has brought you to the place where you missed your opportunity of seizing the light. Huh? Now you may try again. The Shari Man. My last chance, Shadow! <sighs> Dig this, boss! Come in, Abdul Snarchkov! I was expecting you! Do you know where Farhat is to be found right now? Observe carefully. Right here! Is Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico? This time we can surely annihilate him. If you follow my instructions! You know you can always count on my totalitarian fealty. Hangar number three, this is it. Cousin, it's me, Ben! Where are you? Ben Gomez no está aquí, señor. He has gone. That can't be. I spoke to him on the phone just half an hour ago. Si, sí, he left about 20 minutes ago. Who are you? I am his cousin. Did he say when he'd be back? He will not be today, señor. That's not possible. He's my cousin. I have complete trust in him. All I know, señor, is that he took off with a group of tourists from number three runway 20 minutes ago. They'll be in Guatemala for a week. A week? Why in the world didn't he tell me so? We're in oh, big trouble. Hello. We'll never get there in time I just a don't plane. believe this. No cousin of mine would pull such a dirty trick. Are you the cousin who called asking for a hop down to Yucatan? Yes. Well, why didn't you say so? Ben asked me to take you down there in my plane. I was just fine-tuning her. 
Oh, what wonderful hey, hey, news! Hey. When can we leave? The prisa, senor. Right now, if you like. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Look! Those are the ruins of a Mayan city. Hmm? The ancient Mayan civilization was a fascinating one. They held human sacrifices, but they were very learned in mathematics and astronomy. They invented the zero and built observatories as much as 70 meters high, as well as their famous pyramids. Look, there's one now. All I see is a bunch of oil wells. Quite. Unfortunately, the acid rain of the oil wells is corroding the stone of the monuments. But once oil has been found, greed takes over and carries the day. What you are having against <gasps> oil wells? <laughs> ah, I knew I shouldn't have trusted this. Where is my cousin? In Guatemala, like I am telling you. And by the time he is back, you have already dead. Such a relief to be able to speak English without that horrible accent. <laughs> ah, Just a little something I happened to come up with. Ben, you've uh, saved our lives. Uh, Here I come! <laughs> My cousin would never have betrayed me. I knew it. Sorry not to be sharing in the general euphoria, old dear. But without an airplane, what? <laughs> That's why I like the desert. There isn't a plant from horizon to horizon. Hey, wait for me. Oh no! More plants! I can't go on another step. <sighs> Come on, Tilda. We just have to make it willy-nilly. Look! There are many mysteries anent the Mayan, Aztec, and Toltec civilizations. For example? The Mayans, for example, were remarkable astronomers and built their highest constructions as observatories. Then in that case, it's no coincidence that Xenom's map took us here for our appointment with the fourth crystal, is it? And what about all that human sacrifice stick? Absolutely true. Are those the extinct people you were talking about? No, <laughs> quite. Uh, battle stations, everyone. Careful. Come on, you creeps, do your worst. Make a move, either of you. But Farhat, their fingers are all red. No resistance, do you both understand? But why, Farhat? <laughs> you taught me to follow my instincts. Let's hope they don't lead us to a frying pan. Oh, Ben, I never said they were cannibals. <laughs> Maybe, but that guy is sizing you up as if you were a side of beef. <laughs> to eat dogs or to be eaten by dogs, what a splendid choice. Welcome, stranger. I've been expecting you, even though I do not know your name. My name is Farhat, your highness. <laughs> Approach the throne. Do you know the stars? As a child, I would study them almost every night. You would do well to tell her exalted highness just why we're here. Um, this is Miss Tilda Swanson. And, in fact, she's quite an astronomer herself. Uh, yes, the point is we're not... One. Hold on a sec, honey. Even if you don't look it, he's a predestined prince. A heck of a guy with a mission to carry out. He's got to find seven crystals like this. For right now, we have three, and the fourth will appear here tomorrow at sunset. If we don't get our mitts on it, Ego Can, the most fiercest and powerfulest of demons, will destroy the whole world. Only Farhat can keep him from his goal because Farhat has special powers. I know we don't look like nothing special. A bit of a nerd you're probably saying to yourself, but believe me, once you... Tomorrow is the 260th recurrence of Otto Orki. The stars had foretold the arrival of a man from distant lands, but I didn't expect it would be someone so young and handsome. For centuries, my people have studied the stars, trying to understand when the remarkable event would occur. As you can see, 
It was foretold in this bas-relief from 800 years ago. It looks just like the Shariman. The ancient astrologers predicted that tomorrow at sunset a miracle would take place. One that would never come about again. with the children. I, your god, the Quetzal Coatl, am speaking at you. Beware of young stranger who comes to unsettle and destroy our laws and traditions. Beware of him what coming to challenge great Quetzal Coatl. I would recognize that voice in a sandstorm. Not your typical Mayan accent. That man is an imposter. His name is Snarchkov and he's one of the minions of Egocon, the evil demon I told you about. <gasps> You do not realize, oh feeble-minded children of Quetzalcoatl, what incredible riches are lying beneath your smelly feces. Accursed the mosquitoes. Riches more precious than gold, more precious than... As I was saying, oil is king of the universe! My beloved people, there you see the true imposter. That's right, your majesty. His name is Snarchkov, and he's one of the worst villains in the world! <sighs> Push the dive button. Huh? No! My vertical takeoff petrol jet! <laughs> Capture that man! <laughs> Today at sunset, Farhat, the man of destiny, We'll go to the top of the Urca Pyramid. It's the first time I've gone to pick up a fragment of the Shariman with an audience watching. Don't worry. Just concentrate on the crystal. Everything will be fine. Go ahead, Farhat. Our hopes go with you. Howling sandstorms. It rains every day here. I sure miss the desert. To say nothing of a good howling sandstorm, eh? Well, at least I don't get my armor all rusty. Let's go see what Tilda's up to. Well then, what's our next destination, kiddo? A nice hot desert, I hope. We'll know soon enough. Hold on. There. This is the latest fragment I picked up. The one from the Mayan pyramid. The fourth of the seven crystals of the magical Sharaman. Now we'll find out where our path lies. Once again, the enchantment has worked. Zenim's astral map is pointing out our road. Now it's up to you to decipher the signals, Tilda. Quite. Oi, this is blooming unbelievable, it is. <gasps> Huh? Something wrong, kiddo? You look pale. No, everything is perfectly in order. Then why do you look like you've seen a ghost? Well, do you know just where we have to go to pick up the fifth fragment? Just tell me it's not another rain-drenched jungle. No, it's Ooh. good old England. Ah, uh, yeah, that little island where we picked you up. Well, it ain't exactly the desert, but I guess I can't complain. Your father will be very happy to see you again. Quite, as will I. Miss Kehoe. These calculations are completely incorrect. The Royal Academy are furious. With these data that we elaborated, the brand new X-Force satellite crashed into the ocean. I had originally assigned them to Miss Tilda Swanson, but as you know, she left the college. So I finished them. Return to the fray, Miss Keyhole, and this time return triumphant with Miss Swanson in tow. It's not too much to say that the future of the college is in your hands. Cuckoo! Ooh. Coco! <laughs> oh, dearest Daddy! Tilda! <laughs> <laughs> We're all here. <laughs> Hi there, Nego! <laughs> it's so good to see you. Only shh, no one must know we've well, come here. Look, 
I know of a we place that's perfectly else. safe for all of you. Where, Daddy? Your old treehouse, of course. Great idea, isn't it? <laughs> Think I'm costing you too much? No, it's just being figured from speech. And double this oil output now! How is it you are always knowing that which I am saying or done? Foolish mortal! Your mind cannot even begin to plumb the all-encompassing extent of my knowledge and power. Oh, he's wonderful. Watch and procrastinate. Stop your foolish prattling and get ready. Hmm. You will soon be joining Farhot in a land far away from here. A place where the brat thinks he's safe. Poor little fool. <laughs> this is marvelous. Look what I found here. What in the world is it, Tilda? Huh? Can you show us how it works? It's a little kitten I built when I was seven out of sardine tins, clock pots, and a few nuts and bolts. Her name is Judy. Here, I'll have a show off for you. Get her away from me! Mm -hmm. How long she ain't going to let go of me? Spit me out! Ah. 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 She's obedient as well. <laughs> <laughs> now then, youngsters, what brings you to these parts? The Shariman, Mr. Swanson. Oh. So these are the magic crystals you've been talking about. They're beautiful. And they're what dragged you off to Tibet and to Kappa Cola. Kappa Docha. Oh, that's what I meant. And if I'm not mistaken, to Australia and Mexico. Absolutely correct in every particular, Daddy. And now we must pick up the fifth fragment here in England. That's what Zenim's astral map says. Uh-huh. It's written here. Yes, it's in a simply magnificent place, Stonehenge. Oh, I saw a picture postcard of it once. It's a sort of circle of huge rocks, right? It's a prehistoric megalithic complex constructed thousands of years ago as an astronomical observatory and who knows what else. Excellent Chinese green tea. <laughs> My master Zenem was very fond of it. A true connoisseur. As is my daddy. But not my darling Tilda, who'd rather guzzle down that swill. Yes, I'm afraid our heroine isn't what the French would call a fine beak. <laughs> Tilda, hey. Boy, he was just joking, lovey. Daddy, his <laughs> keyhole is out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Keogh, what a surprise. Hello, Ducks. Yes. The displeasure is mutual, Mr. Huh? Swanson. Off a mo. Here now. May I ask why you've come round this time? Tilda is still away from college. That's why I've come. She must return. The Dean demands it. Parliament demands it, as does Her Majesty. Well, that's as may be, but she doesn't want to, and that's all that counts. Your daughter cannot be allowed to throw away a brilliant career mm. to act out mm. some childish fantasy. Uh, but Tilda's going to save the world. You're quite mad, Mr Swanson, perhaps more than your daughter. Over this wall, we're practically home free. <clears throat> <laughs> no, wait! <laughs> Cousin Ben fathering gay fips. Oh, Cousin Ben is fraternizing friend. with the enemy. Of course not, Ali. Ben has simply met up with one of his many cousins. Listen, dearest cousin, I have a little problem. Could you possibly give me a hand? How can you even ask? The bond of cousin is sacred. <sighs> This disgusting swill is Tilda's favourite beverage. Uh, drink it myself, I do. Uh, give, give it Nonsense. A, uh, now I know that Miss Tilda Swanson is very near. Uh, wait, wait, I, I, I can explain. The car! 
she has even stolen the college Rolls Royce. I shall immediately inform the proper authorities. I advise you to put that telephone down right now, Miss Key. I'll give it out. <laughs> My daughter is not a criminal. Don't touch me, you wretched pirate! <laughs> Pipe down and listen. I'll take you to Tilda myself. All right? Hmm, what scheme are you hatching? Nothing. I just want you to see that demon with your own eyes. Then you'll have to believe. All right? Very well. What was that about the visibility? The important thing is that we're here. Just follow that path to the right. It's not very far, you'll see. It might not be very far, but this fog isn't helping. It was your instinct, kiddo. It can't be any harder than finding a spring of water in the desert. I suppose if you put it that way... Hey, I just heard something like teeth gnashing. I'm sure it's nothing more than a frightened stray dog. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Here, boy, Uncle Ben's your friend. Yoo-hoo! <gasps> well, it certainly is not a cuddly little puppy. Ah, there ain't nothing to be seen. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. No! Oh, duck, we've had an accident. Your powers of deduction are remarkable, Mr. Swanson. Believe it! Some blooming idiot is having fun making fog. Oh. Huh? The fog is lifting. What is happening with my fog? Snarch cough. I should have known you were behind this. Without fog is being less amusing, but you'll be destroyed all this year. Shadow, be ready. I'll make up a little batch of... I've got a better idea. Judy will take care of this situation. Go to it, dear. Enough of playing hide with seek. I am now tearing you apart. Huh? 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 Chasing after cat back there is anything! <laughs> oh no! Wants a dog. Yafs a button, Australia. Tilda! Oh no, that broad! The fog was better! <gasps> Miss Keyhole, what did you do to my father to force him to bring you here? She promised to believe whatever she saw and we're gonna run into Ego Khan. She'll be convinced. I doubt it. Well, as long as we're all here, be so kind as to correct these calculations for the x 4 satellite. Get out of my face, you cow! <clears throat> We have important work, so I'll ask you not to interfere. Young man, no one is going to keep me from talking to her. Miss Swanson, we have things of great pith mm? and moment to discuss. Mm. Come back here! She's really asking for it, isn't she? Get to it! Mm -hmm. And there's another very important thing as well. We need your opinion on yes, the honey. geometric shifts for the... No! The score, please stand me. I put... <laughs> Miss Keogh! What did you give her? A potion that will render her sweet and gracious and loving. That would be a miracle. When she wakes up, she'll be singing and picking posies. But she'll fall in love with the first guy that talks to her. So keep Ms. your Keogh. mouth zipped. Miss Keogh! Can you hear me? Please, darling, call me Constance. Uh -huh. Oh, Mr. Swanson, you shouldn't have... My sweet Nigel Kintz. Uh, 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 Crush me in a mad embrace. Uh, 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 Take my uh, breath uh, away. Uh, oh. Oh. I 
Eve, what hast thou wrought? Promise me you'll never leave me. Promise me. Promise her, Daddy. Keep her out of harm's way. The sun's going down and we must collect the Sharon Man at twilight. That's right. There's not a moment to yeah. lose. Oh, my lovely Kill little off. Jukins, don't push me away. I don't like this. Ego Khan hasn't even shown his face yet. The precise pickup point is in the middle of the stone circle. Underneath, like good miners. Now behind Swaggle, Niggle's right. You're a genius, my angel. A genius. <laughs> dig and dig. I'll take over from here. <gasps> you couldn't hurt a fly, you windbag. Here, over here. Whoever you are, I adjure you to cease and desist. You are destroying an archaeological treasure of Inesca! <laughs> By all the ancestral demons, enough is enough! I will bring the circle of stones down around you, then it will become your tomb. The magic crystals are under here. We have to get them out right away. Try and keep old blowhard occupied for a while. Ah, alma makta shin shamesh halenge! What dodge can we come up with? Miss Keyhole, lend me your pendant. But it's merely a family keepsake. Nothing precious, I assure you. It'll do fine. You get the crystals, I'll keep Eagle Con out of the way. <laughs> so you thought you got all the Shariman fragments from me, did you? What are you saying, brat? Oh! I given one to Tilda, so now our little fight is fair and square. Oh, curses! Double curses! Come on, show your face, you lily livered poltroon! Hurry, Daddy! Uh, uh. You filthy brat! I'll bury you! You're so cute when you're frightened! Please be careful with my no. no! What are you waiting for? Not quite sure of your aim anymore, are you? The sunset, the fifth crystal! But hot! Here! There! Take that, Eagle Con! <laughs> You played me for a fool! Ah, ah, Shut up! Farhad, are you all right? Oh. No! First the Shariman, or we'll lose it forever! Ah. But bring it back quickly! Ah. Ah. No! Ah. Come to mummy, you cute little thing! Die, Farhat! Hey, Ego Khan! Guess what? You lose! Whoa.
kid. Rise and shine. Hey, Ben, give me an hand here. She knocked her head on a rock and fainted dead away. Does anyone know where the crystals are? One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Here, the four we had and now the latest edition. <laughs> That's beautiful. Hurry, get the map out. Yes, let's see where our next pickup is. Lord love a duck, this is magic. Tilda, the map has given us our next appointment. Mm. Hurry, decipher it. Later. Mm. I don't want her to know where we're going. She's still Miss Keyhole. I'm afraid you're right. We'd best be going. Thanks for everything, Mr. Swanson. You saved our bacon once again. Nonsense, lad. I haven't had so much fun since the time I scored two tries against the police team. And you're off again, eh? I'll ring you up tomorrow at the usual time. I'll be waiting by the phone. Oh, mum's the word with her, eh? Mm -hmm. Are you positive about the destination? Yes, don't worry. Now be quiet. I'm ringing up Daddy. You said it was the mountain of Alpuzu, didn't you? So, is it or isn't it Alpuzu? Hello? Yes, it is the mountain of Alpuzu, uh, you dimwitted uh, fathead. Tilda, is that you? Yes, it is I, Daddy. But I didn't mean you. I meant Farhat. I always thought of him as a right smart lad, not a fathead. Yes, Ordinarily, his intelligence is not subnormal. Not subnormal. Huh. The problem is that he's asked me about 11 times if I've calculated our next objective properly. Why, the nerve of the bloke not to trust my wonderful, stupendous, infallible genius of a daughter. And I, infallibly, have calculated that we must reach Alpuzu Mountain in the middle of the Sahara, where the sixth and next to last fragment of the Shariman will appear. Come on, let's get moving. The giddy up gig. What the heck's that? Mm -hmm. It looks like an armored knight. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I ain't seen no one in a monkey suit like that for centuries. He doesn't look very friendly. We don't have time to waste. Ali, take care of him. Sure thing, boss. Just gotta change potions. Warrior gig. I challenge you to a duel according to the solemn code of honor of the desert. Doesn't that silly toad know that the night is made for snoring? Bend my blade. Right away. You're not intending to. Don't worry, Tilda. I got the kid in perfect shape. But Ali, he has to pick up the sixth fragment in a few hours. He can't risk getting hurt just because. There ain't no other choice. You mustn't Perhaps. interfere. It too, Ben. That knight challenged him by the code of honor of the Bedouins. And so? If Farhat were to ignore it, he'd besmirch his honor. And according to the legend, the predestined one must remain pure in order to carry out his mission. Who can that blighter be? And why is he persecuting I think us? Probably it is the phantasm of an ancient warrior. Perhaps we have violated his territory. But if he's a ghost, then why... 
Man or ghost, a challenge is still a challenge, Tilda. I don't get it. Go, Bubba. He'll be all right. Way to go, kiddo. You might want to withdraw your hand from the ring. Just as I thought, we're dealing oh. with a ghost. Well, then let's fold our tents and slip silently away. All right? And yes, you're right, Tilda. We should be going. Uh, ben, would you mind? Mm -hmm. I watched you while you were dueling. You were marvelous. You know, you really are a preux chevalier. <laughs> but if you ever expose yourself to needless risks like that again, I'll give you a belt in the gob, I will. That poor, pathetic, weakling Farhart. He doesn't have the wit to realize the diabolical trap into which I am successfully luring him. Ah, How go? Many a duel still awaits you. An endless series of duels! <laughs> Time to check our route, isn't it? We're spot on, Farhat. Alpuzu is seven hours straight ahead of us. With Ali's giddy up gig, our camels have wings on their feet. No one could keep up with us. Not even the ghost horseman? I'd bet my helmet on it. <laughs> That's good enough for me. It seems you just lost your headgear. Huh? Prince Farhat Ben Asser. I challenge you to a duel according to the solemn code of honor of the desert. Prince Farhat Ben Asser, I challenge you to a duel according to the solemn code of honor of the desert. Oh, no, I know. He's come back again. Prince Farhat Ben Asser, I challenge you to a duel. Prince Farhat Ben Asser, I challenge you. There! That high peak is the mountain of Alpuzu. <sighs> Hurry, chaps, we haven't a moment to lose. Farhat, you simply can't give in this time. We'll miss out on the sixth fragment. I'd like to heed your words, Tilda, but I have no choice. Truly, I'm very sorry. Oh, do you realize what's going to happen here? We're going to lose out on our appointment with the Sixth Crystal. Oh. According to the Saracen Chronicles, the great Ahmed Mawati was the only man ever able to fight 17 consecutive duels, succumbing in the last of them. And do you know how many Farhat has fought so far? Um, uh... Uh, 16, right? 19 foolish duels. 19! That kid's a winner! Don't you realize it's only a matter of time before Farhat succumbs? I understand, but the cold! So you've waited nearly 900 years just to see everything uh, fall uh, apart for a uh, foolish uh, reason? Uh, uh, you did it! Great going, kiddo! It's just a I'll scratch, get the first aid kit. It. It's only... No, you've forgotten what I learned you. The code of honor forbids you should help them before, after, or during. Huh? You can all go to the devil! <sighs> Let's hit the trail. Come on. Parfumo! I was forgetting a cardinal tenet of logic. Every problem carries its own solution within it. Yeah! There's something strange going on here. Whatever it is, I'll find it out soon. There it is. The mountain of Alpuzu. Yes, but there's not right. a moment to lose. The sun is beginning to set. Prince Farhat ben Asir, I challenge you to a duel according to the solemn code of honor of the desert. But again? 
It's all right. Uh -huh. Fight him, but take your time about it. No. Don't get caught off guard. No. Ben, put up the tent. Ali, come with me. But, but that's the horseman's mask. <laughs> I know I had one with me. Ah, here it is. <clears throat> A scansion spectrograph. A spectrograph? You mean it measures ghosts? Not really. But this time it might very well work as a discoverer of false ghosts. Hey, it's traveling! <gasps> I got him before he could get too far away. <sighs> All right, chaps, let's take a butcher's. What do you expect to find in there? Ha-ha! Eh? I was indeed sure of it. Of what? Howlin' Sandstorm, speak up, kiddo. This mask is made up of an alloy of wolfram and molybdenum. What are those when they're at home? They're metals discovered only a few years ago, so they can't be the armor of an ancient warrior. So it ain't no ghost, then. Something made by someone like... Snorchkov. Howlin' Sandstorm, then the dual... Sheer, unadulterated treachery. <sighs> 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 Fine about gig. And now, brave knight, go haunt the people that sent you. <laughs> The sun's going down. One more no. effort. Oh, I'll never make it, never. Ali, give me a potion. Son of a gun, I had to use all my most powerful elixirs to stop the horseman. I'm sorry. I'll have to make up some energy gig, but it'll take time. How much? Um, an hour. Wait, Shadow will take care of it. I'm sorry, Farhat. But I used up all my energy, too, in those duels. Well, here's where Ben gets to play a part. Come, young master. Ben, you did this when I was a child. I'm a lot heavier now. Be quiet and hold on. Um. Our plan has been discovered, but it doesn't matter anymore. He's huh? in such sad shape that we have to take advantage of it. It won't take long. Demon Eagle Khan and Abdul Snarchkov. I challenge you. What's what this? You do according to the solemn code of honor of the desert. Out of my way, idiot! Yeah. How dare you! Yeah. Out of my way! Oh. I challenge you to a duel according to the solemn code of honor of the desert. Oh, dearest, it seems that we are having a problem, Ski. Feet. Do your stuff. We're almost there. Shadow, it's up to you. Go get it. Uh, I don't think I can make it. You have to make it. Yes, the light. Oh, huh? I can't reach it. Yes. <laughs> At last! I am coming as quickly as I could. Parhat must have come up with another one of his deceptions. I can't sense him at all. It's never happened before. This little brat is growing every day more power. Utter no idiocies! <laughs> it's just a stupid trick. Which apparently is well succeeding. By all the saints and sinners! Do you dare make a mockery of me? <laughs> Uh, perish for a bit, master. Uh, what do you want I should do? Uh, Use one of your useless gadgets and find Farhat. We must at all costs prevent him from recovering the last fragment of the Shareman. 
it was a good idea to hide in the passages underneath Zenim's tower? This place is surrounded by a magical aura. Eagle Khan will never be able to find us here. Uh -huh. I tell you it was here. Then look for it. I've already looked. Oh. Let's check this out. Oh. What the devil's been going on here? I can't find the Alchemilia. Do you realize what a disaster that is? And right before we were supposed to pick up the seventh magical fragment. Matilda, where are you going? Up to the battlements. I have to ring up Daddy. We're hiding down here so as not to be discovered. I can't get a line down here. You're going to have to give up your call this once. If I don't speak to him, he'll worry so much he won't sleep a wink. Well, what about my situation with my parents? They're being held captive by an evil monster and I've not been able to free them. I know, and I'm terribly sorry, but I have to ring up Daddy. I categorically forbid it. You can't compromise the mission for a stupid phone call. Stupid mm -hmm. phone call indeed. How dare you? I thought you and I were the ones who were supposed to keep calm. Shan't be a moment. Tilda! Tilda! Foolish little chit. Hey, look, I found it. Oh, oh there are signs etched into this rock. Astral signs. Why, this is Zenim's map. It's the Matrix, the original. I'll copy it. Then, after I've spoken with Daddy, I'll compare it to ours. That stubborn redhead. I just hope she doesn't get us into trouble. Ali, go make sure she hurries. Howling sandstorms, why do I always get the grunt voice? <laughs> I get goose flesh every time I walk into old Zenim's laboratory. Greetings to you, young Ali. Master, is that really you? I am very proud of you indeed, young Ali. Master, what a joy to see you again. You have carried out the very difficult task I set for you with all the devotion and thoroughness I expected. I simply followed your wise teachings. But uh, uh, tell me, are you... You're asking whether I am dead? <laughs> My body is nothing but a grain of sand in the desert now. But I have never ceased watching over you. Oh, I know. I've always sensed your benevolent presence next to me. But tell me, Master, will we be able to carry out the mission? The success of the mission will depend entirely on the young man. You must mean Farhat. Yes, Ali. He is the predestined one. He's a great kid and very wise for one of his tender years. Yes, but the forces of evil are always ready to pounce. Therefore, I have decided to give you a little helping hand. Close your eyes. Wow! Study its contents most thoroughly. They might come in handy in the difficult situations you will surely encounter. Master Zenim. Now I must go. May good fortune go with you, young Ali. Will I be seeing you again? Who can say what is written in the stars? Oh. Sorry, Daddy. I can't stay on the line very long today. I had a flaming row with Farhat over it. I must say I don't understand, lovey. You've always rung me up right at this hour, no matter where you were. The North Pole, Mexico, what's so blooming different about today? You don't understand, Daddy. Today we pick up the seventh and last fragment of the magical Shaman and unite it. Look, love a duck, where? So, big day is today and place is Zenim's Tower. All I having to do is inform Nigo Cannon. No, why should I discommodating Babylonian spook? I have potent machines for making surprise attack on my own. I am genius. Sorry, Daddy. I'll have to ring off now. Something might be happening. If you're involved, something's always happening, lovey. That's really remarkably funny, Daddy. I'll call you tomorrow at the same time if I'm able to. <laughs> oh! Oh! It's Snodgkoff. I must warn the others. Soon tower will be nothing but grains from sand. Nothing! 
But whatever, you are dung out here. Did you really think I'd leave you to your own devices while confronting I am delightful for to seeing you. I do not doubt it whatsoever. Since you are here, it's only fitting and proper that you should gang first. Forget the banana oil snarch cough. I don't need your permission for anything. Impetuous winds, merciless hurricanes, howling cyclones, I summon ye! Did you say? I can't hear you. I believe I am sustaining injury. Yes! Master Zenim, you are a freaking genius! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I do believe I am one solid mass of bruises from the top of my head down to my toes. Quite. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Look over there. We can say goodbye to the Astral Stone. Better than saying goodbye to everything. Howling sandstorms. I don't believe my eyes. Oh. <gasps> I think the guy's a little angry. Prepare for the voice. <laughs> Not a vertical object will be left in radius of a hundred versts. <laughs> well met, young prince. Transformation. The blue is invisibility. Ah, oh, yeah, sure, I got it. Yellow. No. 
Demon can't even stand a couple pieces of glass. Well struck, Ali. Congratulations. Allow me, I should return the compliment by congratulating you on your perfect aim, Bubbala. Uh, 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 Within certain limits, I would say, perhaps yes. Poor Master Zenim. All his knowledge in rubble. It's tragic. The rock with the astral map engraved on it was destroyed as well. Where's mm. Tilda? Uh. Tilda! Uh. Tilda! Uh. Here I am! Uh. 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 Look at the sun. Uh. It's setting. Howling sandstorms, the crystal. Uh. Hurry, kiddo, or we'll miss out on the last fragment. Uh. Shadow sees the light. <sighs> Get out of that bag, Shadow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> there are times when very simple strategy is being more effective than complicated ones. <laughs> You won't find any help from that particular quarter, Ali. It's clear that they've abandoned us. I managed to save this map from destruction, and what good did it do for me? Nothing at all. Don't even think of it. Give that to me. What do you think mm. you're doing? There are no problems, my boy. Only solutions. She's gone bonkers. Broads can't stand up to real stress, you know. Hmm? I think she's found something. What could she possibly have found, dummy? Let's see. Hmm. I tell you, she's found something. Huh. Ridiculous. Huh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh! Yes, yes! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ali, I have to admit it. Your old master really knew a thing or two. You're talking about Zenim? He thought precisely as I do. Every problem bears its solution within it. I, Petroleum King from Universe, cannot be running out of petrol. <laughs> Kingdom is to southeast. A few miles walk is not going to be enough to discouraging future king of world. <clears throat> Zenim knew Ego Khan and always kept one step ahead of him. His map showed us the place to pick up the crystal, in other words, the tower, but it gave us the wrong time of day. You saying Zenim made a mistake, kiddo? Like, no way! He did make a mistake, but he did it on purpose to deceive Ego Khan. With great cleverness, he showed the correct hour only on the rock engraving, which tells us that the last crystal will appear not at sunset as we believed, but rather when the moon reaches its full zenith, in just a few moments. Now it's up to you. Good news can bring strange reactions. Hurry, Shadow, and seize the light! Ah, Cerberus with a smile! It's not possible! The Shuriman!
Now you will use the Shariman to defeat Igo Khan, and at last you will free your parents. Yes, but how? Hey, what's going on here? War Council? <clears throat> Ali, what in the world are you going to do? Before going off the battle, <clears throat> mutton beets are good soak in the regenerating gig. We've carefully followed the instructions on Zenim's map, and we've reunited the Shariman. But now, just exactly what do we do? My beloved master Zenim simply said that the light would be reborn from the Shariman, or something like that, you know? Quite. The great light of Scorpio. At least that's what all the old writings say. Well, it may all be about light, but I am in the dark. <laughs> well, if we take a look around, I'm sure we'll come up with some sort of hint or other. <gasps> Don't you think? Ali, stay still. Uh, what is it? A monster? A snake? A mother-in-law? Sit uh, still. Uh... <laughs> Most interesting indeed. Pencil and paper, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, would you be so good as to calm down, please? Say what? Who asked you to stick your R in, kiddo? A work of genius. We have here the map of Iga Khan's labyrinth. Yes, it corresponds perfectly. He was a wonder old Master Zenim huh? was. He designed the map on Ali's tummy. Howling sandstorms. I've been walking around for eight centuries with a map on my belly and I never noticed. Are those symbols right? Ancient Chaldean. Zenim often used it as a secret code. Now we just have to decipher it. Oh, yes, it's obvious. Obvious? Not to me, it isn't. The Sharaman in the center, the sun on the horizon, and Shaula at the zenith. Marvelous. Now I'm even more lost than before. No, Shaula is the star in Scorpio's tail. When will it be found at the zenith while the sun is setting? Excellent question. It's an extraordinarily rare astronomical configuration, but it just so happens it's going to occur today. So at sunset, the Shariman has to be here. At the center of the labyrinth. In exactly nine hours, 16 minutes, and 23 seconds from now. Time's a wasting, kids. Let's move it. What do we do once we get there? How do we know till it happens? Let's move. My parents, Ali. Howling sandstorms, get off of your duck. <laughs> Come on, get on top. Yow! <laughs> <laughs> A half lie, little galoop chicks. Is lovely surprise awaiting you. <laughs> Move just one step, galoop chicks, and you will be torn apart. Hold on. I got something here that just might do the trick for us. Never tried it before. If this works, those mechanical snakes will bite the dust. Or more accurately, the sand. Mm -hmm. Open your mouths. Sand gig! <laughs> what kind of a mulligatawny was that? A potion that turns us into grains of desert sand. That way those things won't even realize we're there. My body's being pulverized. Mine's ah. being sanded. But that eight-foot mechanical worm took my portion. Sorry, Bubble, there's nothing more I can do. I can only be swept away by the desert wind. I've never felt so light in my life. The desert sand is exceeding fine and penetrates everywhere. Uh. Ah. Howling sandstorms. That sand gig is really something. <clears throat> Curses. Tilda didn't make it inside. First Ben, now her. We have to be careful. You got that right, Eve. Huh? Uh -huh. Either I'm going out of my mind, or that wall's doing the bunny walk. No, no! Hold tight, get up. Just let me prepare a good... Uh, 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 stupid wall! I need 
to wake up something good. I know, the perforation gig. You enjoy your uh -huh. little cocktails, don't uh -huh. you? Well, drink them all! <laughs> Good, Ali, you made it! No! You see, Ego Gun took me. Ali, what's going on? Ego Gun took it I... and wiped up the floor with me. Howling sandstorms, I can't go on. I'm useless. God, forget about me, kiddo. Go on. You know what you have to do. I'll be back as soon as I can. Very well, then. It'll be just the two of us. I'm coming after you. Yes, young prince. Just the two of us. Anishama Shashim Shama Shalenki! All ye arcane forces of the Netherworlds, I summon ye to my side! Ah! Shadow! Shadow, find somewhere to grab onto! Consider it done, boss! Want it back? By the thunders of Molas, that brat has become too powerful. But I still have an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> My compliments on your perseverance, young prince. The hour has come, Eagle Khan. The Shariman will return to its place, and you cannot impede it. I won't even try, but they will. <laughs> Father! Mother! What are you waiting for, Farhat? Why don't you give your parents a big hug? <laughs> 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 Ask them for permission to enthrone the Shariman. I don't know why, but I have the vague idea they may not be in agreement. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> Mother! Father, don't! <laughs> <laughs> Mother! Father! Speak to me! Tell me you're not dead! No! 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 <laughs> Curse you forever! Stop right there, Buster! Stop! <laughs> The tail of Scorpio has never been so visible during the day. The center of the labyrinth. That's where I must place the Shariman. Reflect well, Farhat. I must follow the path laid out for me. Leaving the world in your hands would be worse than death itself. <laughs> Magic. Now that he's gone, his magic is annulled. Mother. Father. Look at me, mother. Farhat. Oh, my son. Farhat, you have succeeded in that which no man had ever dared. May you live in blessedness forever. Oh, my son. 
howling sandstorms. This is all too much for an old warrior like me to bear. Look over there. Oh. I suppose you'll be going back to your studies at Oxford now? Is that what you want me to do? Oh, well, I mean, it's a decision that must be made, but you're the only one who can make it. Well, I've had several proposals of research fellowships, all with attractive conditions and perquisites. And have you decided to accept any of them? Not yet. I'm waiting to see if some even more interesting proposal will come from another quarter. <laughs> come on! <laughs> 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 Long living to His Highness Prince Farhat. Long living to our beloved royal family. This humiliation will finish. I will have my revenge. Yes, yes, a very great revenge. Uh, Abdul Snarchkov has spoken. Mm. <laughs>